Guess what we're doing today? So yes, as you can tell, probably by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today Memphis is going to the vet, but you're probably wondering why. Well, she's got a little sty in her eye. You can kind of see it. I'll try to insert a photo. I'm not touching it. And uh, instead of waiting until she starts scratching at it or bothering it or anything like that, we're gonna go ahead and take her to the vet and see what they say about it. So come on and join us as we take Miss Memphis to the vet. And uh, while these two apparently do this, every single time I turn the camera on and talk, they just wanna do this. You girls be good. We're going to the vet and maybe I'll take you to breakfast as well. So off we go to take Miss Memphis to the vet and holy cow, it was so snowy the day that we had to go. And no matter what I do, Memphis always wants to ride up front. I swear, when there's no other dogs in the car, she gets the front seat. But look how beautiful it was out this day. So we got to the vet's office, and I don't know if you guys know this, but our vet's office actually has urgent care on the weekend. Memphis is always ridiculously excited to get to the vet. Like, she does not want to wait and be patient in the car while we wait to go in. She wants to go in right now. And of course she has to sniff everything along the way because there's been other animals here. I absolutely love our vet's office. Look at her, she's like, I want in the door and then she's gonna do her typical thing she does every time we come to the vet and jump up on the counter. She has been doing this for years. When she was little and tiny, she would try to do it and then when she got older, she was big enough to actually reach. She's looking for her special snacks that they keep behind the counter. Stay tuned. She'll get some, trust me. And then we got placed in our room, and of course, what does Memphis do? She counter surfs for snacks. That is her thing when we're at the vet. She's like, is there snacks? Is there peanut butter? I know where all the things are. The other thing she loves to do is stare at the door when she knows they're getting ready to come in. And then of course, the doctor came in and uh, nobody wanted to be on camera, so I thought I would just film Memphis, and no joke, this was right when they came in and sat down on the floor, and this is how Memphis reacts every single time she's at the vet. She just falls into her little Memphis puddle, wants to get petted, she's like, don't look at my paws, just pet me. Just give me all the snuggles, that's all I want, that's all I'm here for. So she gets loads and loads of snuggles, and then, of course, they give her, like, a full physical and things like that. But, I mean, she thinks she's just getting petted the whole time. So, to this dog, going to the vet literally is the greatest thing on the planet. So, they looked over her eye real quick, and then we got ready to leave. And as I said, look at Memphis here ready to check out. Look at those little tipper-tapper paws on the counter. <laughs> she's like, I get my special treats, and then maybe I get another special treat. She usually gets one or two when we leave, because uh, she's pretty special, and they know it. <laughs> And then after the vet, we decided to go to breakfast, which I know you guys don't get to see very often, so I thought I would bring you along. We actually ended up stopping at McDonald's for breakfast this time, and Memphis and I decided to share something. All right, honey, we have to share it. So we got an egg McMuffin, and Memphis gets part of the egg. That's the best part, right? Is that the best part? She's like, I love eggs. They're my favorite. So I usually get a sausage McMuffin with egg and I give her like half the egg. I know, nobody ever gets to see you have breakfast with me. Don't do it. I had to let it cool, honey. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, you big egg chunkies. Yum, 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 yum. You like your eggs, huh? Memphis says, eggs are good for my coat, guys. They're super good for my coat. And mom shares her, her McDonald's breakfast with me. There's nothing left. We ate it all. You can check it out. You can check it out if you want to, but we ate it all. Watch out, you're popping the top off of my pop. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go home. And we're back from the vet. And these two are still doing their crazy thing that they, oh my goodness, look out Memphis. The dogs are crazy, as always. Hey, I have a story to tell the audience. Can you calm down for two seconds? <laughs> all day, all the time. So what did they say about Miss Memphis's little bump in her eye? So what she has is called an eyelid adenoma. It is very common in older dogs. And I know a lot of you guys are probably looking at it going, why did you even take her in for it? It's so tiny, you can barely see it. If it's not bothering her, why did you take it in? You're gonna do your tippy tappies while they play? Um, so part of the reason that I choose to take my dogs in when we find small lumps and bumps is it is so much easier to have those small lumps and bumps removed than it is when they get bigger. And let me explain. 
So again, she has what's called an eyelid abnormal. You, this is not something that you guys need to be super concerned about. I want to clear that up right away. Don't, don't be super concerned about it. Memphis is going to be just fine. But the benefit of taking her in early and having this looked at was we have a couple options for getting it removed. And yes, we do plan on getting it removed. Now let me explain why we plan on getting it removed. Eyelid adenomas can grow and where it is when Memphis opens and closes her eye, it's very slightly rubbing on her eye. Oh my goodness, you girls are nuts. It's very slightly rubbing on her eye. And as it grows and gets bigger, it's going to rub more and more. And then we're probably going to see her taking her paw, scratching at her eye. She'll probably have a little bit more eye leakage. And it could scratch her eye as well. Look at those tipper tappers. Look at those tipper tappers. It's because these two are going crazy. Because they are crazy. Oh, more tipper tappers. Look at you go. So anyway, like I said, one of the reasons we're going to get it removed is because it can grow and it can cause other issues. Now, the benefit of taking her in when we first noticed this, instead of waiting until it got bigger, or waiting until she was rubbing at her face, or waiting for something worse to be happening, is we now have multiple options for actually getting this removed. The vet gave us two different options for having it removed. The first one was surgery, where she goes completely under, and basically what they do is they cut a little triangle shape out of her eye eyelid, which is kind of crazy when you think about it, but it means she has to go fully under, she has to have stitches, she has to go through like a full surgery for just this little tiny lump. That's option one. Option two, again, because we took her in early and we found this while it was really small, is to have her put under mild sedation, which she has been under before. So she'll go under a mild sedation and they will freeze it off. So they just go in there and they take a little, I think it's like a silver nitrate thing that they use, and they like freeze it off. Now, there are pros and cons to having this frozen off, and we're gonna go over those real quick as well. So the biggest pro is she doesn't have to be fully under anesthesia. It's a mild sedation, which is a lot easier on them. It's a lot easier for them to wake up out of and recover from real mild sedation. She also will not have to have stitches, which is another benefit of this. Now, both of those are really great pros, but there is a con to this as well. And the con is because they will only be freezing it, there is a higher chance that it will return. But, you know, it might take six months, it might take a year, it might take two years. So we're going to go with the route of having it frozen and taken off. Are you going to go look for a squirrel friend? She's like, nah, I'm going to go get a drink of water. Now, if you wanted to go the other route and you wanted to have the full surgery, the pros and cons of like having the full surgery, the pros, of course, is because they'll be taking and cutting that little triangle, there's far less chance of it coming back. Now, that, of course, is a big benefit that it probably wouldn't come back. But then, of course, there's cons with that. She's going to have to be put fully under. That's a lot harder on them. She'll have stitches. The recovery time is longer. Either way, if this is something you were having done for your dog, whether it be an eyelid tumor or some other type of benign tumor, depending on the way, the options that they gave you, either way is a good solution. It really just depends on what works best for you and your dog. And for me personally, I think having this frozen is gonna work best for us with Memphis. She is almost 11 years old. I, <laughs> thanks, Kira. I really don't think it's gonna continuously come back and come back and come back. But we do wanna get it removed sooner rather than later because like I said, as it grows, it's gonna rub and scratch at her eye and that is something we do not want. Right now, it's not bothering her. Right now, she's not kicking at her face. She's not rubbing at her face. She's not scratching at her eye, which is a good thing because if she was, she could also do damage to her eye. Like if she started scratching at it and she caught herself with her own nail or if she was rubbing her face into the couch or rubbing her face into the rug, she could cause other issues, which we don't want. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna go ahead and have this removed. So as always, when we make videos like this, I am sure there are some of you out there right now that are like, I would never have my dog go under surgery. I would never have them go through this. And the reason I know this is because when Memphis had her knee surgery, we had some people in the comments that talked about how you shouldn't go through all this. Well, to each their, look at those tipper tappers, to each their own. We wanna make sure that Memphis has the best life possible. And in our opinion, this is going to be better for her because like I said, when that little thing in her eye starts to grow and starts rubbing on her eye and bothering her and making her uncomfortable, that's not fun for anybody, especially Miss Memphis. 
So that's why we're gonna go ahead and have it removed. Her uh, removal is scheduled for Valentine's Day, February 14th. So I'm sure we'll get a little bit of a grumpy Memphis on that day. If you guys have never seen Memphis after the dentist or Memphis after surgery, she's always a little bit grumpy, even when she's only under mild sedation. If you don't know this, Siberian Huskies, most Siberian Huskies do not like drugs at all. They fight them, they fight, the, they fight that feeling so much, they don't like that feeling of not being, look at those tipper tappers, of not being in control. So sometimes they get a little grumpy when waking up from things, don't ya? Memphis is like, yeah, I get a little grumpy. Even though I'm the sweetest pup around the planet, I do get a little grumpy. What are your sisters doing? They're just wrestle, wrestle, wrestle all the time. All fun, all the time with these two. My goodness. So I know some of you guys are probably wondering why we would even bother making a video on this. Well, one, you know, we like explaining these things to you guys so you guys can kind of understand what we're going through and have some options if you ever have to go through this yourself. I am certain that somebody watching this video has probably gone through the same thing because as we said, eyelid adenomas are very common in older dogs, not just Siberian Huskies, all breeds and we just want to make sure that you know you don't you don't scratch up that cute little eyeball of yours how does that sound like you two don't scratch up each other's eyeballs okay just be good are you gonna jump down and play with them you can i'll get out of your way i'm kind of in your landing zone what do you think you want memphis to come play with you memphis is like i was thinking about it but maybe not <laughs> So her removal is scheduled for February 14th. She will go in, have that removed, and everything should be good. So again, like I said, it's not something we have to worry about. I just thought it would be fun to do a fun little video of Memphis's trip to the vet. We haven't done one of those in a long time, and uh, hopefully this video will help somebody going through the same thing. Right, Memphis? She says, yeah. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And they're off. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Where did Kira go? Did you just scare her off? Where'd she go? Oh, she went to go get she went to go get the water. Okay. Alright. Alright. Goodbye, audience.